Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. We bring you all the tech all the time. What is the hot tech of today? Well, today we're going to be talking to you about the new Google Chromebook Pixel. What is the Pixel? Well, you're about to find out. For one thing, it has an incredible screen resolution, 2560 by 1700 with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. Now, why do they do this? Well, for one thing, you know, if you make the monitor really, really wide, maybe that's cool for some widescreen or some movies, but when you're viewing web pages, it's much, much better to have it taller. You can see more of the page. And I got to give the people at Google kudos for doing this. They're basically just trying to throw a concept out there like a hook and saying, hey, who's going to bite? You want to do this? Now, as far as the rest of the specs go, you get an Intel i5 dual core 1.8 gigahertz processor. 4 gigabytes of memory running at 1333 megahertz, SD card slot, main display port, two USB 2.0 ports, and a headphone jack. Now, this thing's coming to market at $1,299, but to be honest with you, you can throw all of that stuff out the window. It's all completely irrelevant. The big thing about the new Pixel is its ability to bring this concept to market. Basically, everybody else out there has their own thing, they're doing their own thing, but nobody has something like this. So this will force people, hopefully force people, to create a bunch of new apps to support this. Now, as far as ergonomics go, this thing actually is incredible. The keyboard, very, very comfortable. Reminds me a lot of the keyboard that you see on all of the new Macs. Very, very comfortable, ergonomic, easy to type on. The screen, though, is absolutely beautiful. Just take a look at this and look at what's on the screen. Nothing is better than this. The clarity is so in-depth. It's vivid. It totally pops. Colors and everything are just incredible on this. Now, everything on here is run through the Chrome OS. So you're not going to be doing anything else on this thing but that. You can check your email. You can watch movies. You can stream movies. So basically anything that you can do in the WWW environment, you can do on the Chromebook Pixel, but you can do it by looking at it. But there are a few things that you might want to take into consideration here. Take a look at it when it's all closed up. It's very lightweight, very, very business looking. It's totally different than anything else out there on the market. And there's also another way that you can look at this. Right now, if you buy the Chromebook Pixel, you get three years of Google Cloud storage at one terabyte. Usually, this is $50 a month, which is $600 a year. If you buy this right now, you get three years of free service. So, if you want to look at this another way, Google is actually paying you to take the Chromebook Pixel home. Because if you look at it that way, by the time that you get reimbursed for all this stuff that you're not paying for, you're at $1,800. They're selling it for $1,299, so $1,800 means basically you're getting paid almost $600 just to take the Chromebook Pixel home. Originally, when Google came out, they kind of said, hey, this technology is supposed to be like disposable technology, really cheap, easy to get into market. And then all of a sudden we get the Google Chromebook Pixel at $12.99. Everybody's going, holy crap, that's expensive for a web browser. But really, totally irrelevant. This thing was made by Google as a conceptual design to get other people out there in the market to grab a hold of it, make applications for it, and make it a much more robust environment. It runs very, very cool, not hot at all, incredible resolution screen. Now, at the end of the day, though, would I really recommend this to anybody? No, I got to say I'm not. If I was going to recommend a laptop with a Retina, it'd be the MacBook Retina Display Pro. That would just be a much better product. But if this is something you're interested in just to try as an experiment and you want to use that one terabyte of storage and it's important to you, then you can look at it that aspect and you can buy it and jump into it. But I cannot recommend this saying, hey, this is a great product. It's a very innovative product and a great concept from the people at Google. What they're really trying to do with this product, like I said, is get other people involved. This is pretty much like the cheese to the rat or, you know, the bait on a hook. They want somebody to bite, get on this and start developing. And if they did that, this could become a very viable source in the future. And this product could become something you want to check out. As the prices drop and technology comes back, we'll have to revisit this and see what it's like. I'd like to hear your opinions, guys. Let me hear what you think about about this. Like usual, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit that like button and show me that you do. And if you're not subscribed to Tech of Tomorrow, make sure you are because we always have the latest tech here for you.